I've got so many, at least how many SIM cards I've got I'm running through phones and uh, a lot of stuff here. Just got my chat here. And, uh, place in 30. First world problems. First world problems. Vegan gains versus vegan cheater. Little music bargo. Uh, vegan gains, vegan cheater. Some drama going on or something. I've asked for a comment about it. I don't know. I haven't watched uh, Rich's videos for a while. I haven't watched Charles' videos for a while. I'm just too busy on uh, helping people in my local community and online as well to get caught up into the drama like that. And I love the drama, don't get me wrong. But I feel both of those guys are sort of wasting their efforts and their talents in, in creating vegan drama just to get hits, just to get a bit of clickbait, cut money. I mean, Richard, and then this video is basically clickbait, isn't it? So I'm a hypocrite. But yeah, have Richard who is a YouTuber that I helped create. I remember getting on YouTube, get helping with his first videos, helping with thumbnails, content, etc. Charles, even uh, Vegan Cheddar, helped him get on YouTube, gave him shout outs, stuff like that, gave him tips, things like that, and did interviews with him. And again, don't hate any of these guys. They're just everyday guys that couldn't work normal jobs, a bit like myself, and enjoying the YouTube lifestyle money wise. Not sure how much money Charles make, not that much, but. Rich has definitely made a lot of money. Follow my advice. Um, but you can tell Richard's not really living his dream. He's not really living his passion. His, his face is quite pasty and puffy and he looks sort of anemic looking. And for a young guy that age, he should be, you know, more robust health and vigorous fitness. Like he did have in his early videos, he had a glow to him, didn't he? He looked teen and fit riding his bike and now he sort of sits at home with Harry Potter and doesn't do much at all other than play video games. But hey, if that's what you enjoy doing, to do that, but you can tell he doesn't really enjoy it because he's not looking that healthy. He's not looking lean and fit like you know, like me. I can go out. Peter Sagan's in town. I can go out and ride a Peter Sagan if I can find him. It's no, there's no doubt of me keeping up with Peter Sagan or Chris Froome when they're in Adelaide. It's a matter of just finding him and hooking it up. But um, now I'm on Q24. So, and Charles, you know, I would say when Charles, I was surprised that uh, Jeff. Um, took Charles over to LA for the Veg Source Conference, which I always thought was quite a professional sort of conference, and someone like Charles being a professional internet troll, nothing wrong with that. But being invited to go there, I was a bit like, I was a bit like, Jeff, like, are you serious? Like, you know, Charles has got some drug issues, you know, be careful because, you know, when you're on the drugs that Charles is on, then you're not really all there, so we can't really expect too much of them. Well, I was surprised that Jeff, that Jeff took him out there and, and did that, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on there, but uh, I sent Jeff an email, no response yet. But then again, I get, I've got over 9,000 emails I haven't read yet, so maybe Jeff's responded. Um, I just haven't seen it yet. I shouldn't make assumptions, but what do I say? Like, neither Charles nor Richard, they're very similar in themselves. They're both clickbait trolls. They're both making money off drama. Um, and they're both not the sort of people that would really want to hang out with you in real life. Like, unless you had some fame or some, you know, notoriety or you could do something for them. Like, Richard, like, I've literally got six people staying with me right now. I've got six vegans staying with me right now in my one-bedroom apartment. <laughs> and it's fucking, it's good. Like, outside, it's full of tents, you know. So I've got someone from, I've got Aussie, I've got Korea, I've got Chile, I've got Irish, German. I've got a Swiss girl coming. In a few days, I think she's down the corner. It's just multicultural. Got one guy from Sydney is riding across Australia right now, Kieran. So he was right. So we're gonna have probably ten people staying at my place, one bedroom apartment. Because that's what I'm about, building fucking community. Rich is not gonna have anyone deep in his backyard. Neither is Charles. You know, and that's fine. But let's not pretend that these guys really give a fuck about community. Because even Richard, like people say in Toronto, like he's just really sort of standoffish, and he's like, "Yes, what do you want?" You know, he's just a gamer. He's a sort of a social, not what's the word, socially deficient, I don't know, he's just, he's a quiet guy who pretends to care more than he really does. Nothing wrong with that, but Richard, step up bro, step up and share, versus just be a little troll. Same with Charles, the best drug from Charles, and I've done a lot of drugs man, so I can speak from personal experience, the best drug is helping people help themselves, serving others, making your little community online or locally a better place. And you get burned by people like yourself, people like Richard or whatever. But again, it's first world burning. It's not in Rwanda where someone's cut your legs off with a machete because you have different religious views than them. 
it's all first world burnings. So other people are like, I'm scared of giving to someone because they might they might write something bad about me on Facebook. <laughs> Come on, man, give a fuck. That fat dude, Eisel, Richard's friend. Richard Vegan Gains is friends with Eisel. He gave Eisel shout outs since Eisel guy embezzled, defrauded, whatever you want to call it, six and a half thousand dollars US from his fans, Patreon, etc., to try and put Drew in prison. And no lawyer ever contacted me. Never has, never will. You know, and to get a to get a lawyer it only costs like a couple hundred bucks to send him a letter, email. Where did the six and a half thousand dollars go, Richard? So again, like you, you called out Charles and apparently I haven't watched the video. This is thirty seven minutes long or something like that. I'm like click off. I watched maybe thirty seconds of it to be honest. And I just clicked off and I was like, I can't watch Richard's pale, pasty, anemic, puffy face with no fitness, like dribbling about bullshit. Anyway, that's my little rant and rave. I'd say Paul, not Paul, sorry. I'd say Charles and Richard need to maybe read the Bible or something and, and you know, the works of Paul or just step up and do something for the local community and stop just being takers, takers, takers. Give back. Give back. You know, that's the best drug, that's the best fitness, man. How much you can you give? Richard's all about, how much can I lift and get the vegan gains? That's good, man. It appeals to all the basic barbell basics out there. But how much can you give, bro? You know, we know how much you can take. Not much. I mean, you can take from other people, but how much can you really give back? Let us know. And Charles, the best drug man, serving others. So hopefully you can see that one day. Get addicted to that, man. Get addicted to that. 